Phoenix perches on Wudong and Dragon lies on Baoshan Mountain. Zhan Ling is the dragon that was born and lay on the Baoshan Mountain, possessing countless treasures and infinite mental power. It seems that the dragon has reached its peak. It wasn't until one day when a man accidentally fell into a coma next to her treasure mountain that she suddenly realized she still lacked a husband. Ladies, please do not enter unless you are pleased. Chapter 1 Starry Moon Forest You are listening at NovelFull.audio The morning dew has not yet dissipated, and on both sides of the road, the birds on the big trees have just begun to chirp, making everything appear very peaceful. At this moment, a clattering sound of horse hooves came from afar. Listening to the sound, it seemed that there were still many people coming, and they were running very urgently. Master, we are about to arrive at Star Moon City. Well, keep accelerating forward. The person who is respectfully referred to as the master is actually only ten years old, but the overall noble aura is not something that ordinary children in ordinary families can possess. After fifteen minutes, this group of people stopped at the city gate. The captain of the guards, who had just spoken, looked at the tall city gate and once again said to the handsome young master beside him, whose face was like a crown of jade and his eyes were like shooting stars, Master, the Star Moon City has arrived. Passing through this city, five kilometers further ahead is the outskirts of the Star Moon Forest. This Starry Moon Forest is the largest and most terrifying forbidden area on the continent. Do we really need to go in if I don't go in and find the holy potion to detoxify my father, then I can only watch helplessly as he becomes more and more beautiful day by day, but also weaker day by day. When his appearance reaches its peak, it is the day when he fades away. As a human being, I cannot do it. Even if I know it's a close call, I must go. If you are unwilling, I will not force you to wait in the city. If you haven't seen me come out after a month, then you can go back to the imperial city to mourn my mother emperor. Master, we pledge to follow you to the death. Are you joking? They are the attendants of the third prince. If they go back alone to report their funeral to the emperor, their fate can be imagined. Afterwards, the group rode their horses into the Star Moon City. Star Moon City is located five miles away from the Star Moon Forest and is very bustling inside. The road is wide and tidy, with numerous restaurants and shops. Various cheers and buying and selling voices kept coming and going. Although Xinyue Forest is the most terrifying forbidden area on the continent, it is also the most resource-rich place. Even though everyone knows it's dangerous to enter, they still can't stop their desire to go in and search for treasure. This time, Sikong Yu traveled thousands of miles from the Great Summer to come here to search for the antidote. Rainbow Lotus Seed Deep in the Starry Moon Forest This colorful lotus seed has only appeared once in 10,000 years, which made everyone aware of its powerful detoxification effect. No matter what poison you get, it can cure it. As for whether it appeared 10,000 years ago, it is unknown. About 10,000 years ago, there was a huge change in this world. The air suddenly became fresh, and the average life expectancy also increased. Various cultivation resources have also emerged frequently, followed by a group of talented Xianchir and Nyanchir. This time, their Emperor Xia's husband was drugged with the secret medicine. Xi'an. This sunset beauty is a poison that has been ranked high throughout the entire continent. This medicine has no cure, and even Chinese medicine practitioners have not lived for a year. Everyone has given up on treating this imperial husband, except for Si Kong Yu. The young son of the imperial husband doesn't want to see his father die like this. I searched through all the classics in the palace, then went to ask the doctors at the Thai hospital, and finally found a glimmer of hope for detoxification. Later, he secretly ran out with the people. After resting in the city for a day, the group set off towards the Starry Moon Forest with their prepared rations. Fifteen minutes later, Si Kong Yu arrived at the outskirts of the Starry Moon Forest with his people. Looking at the endless mountain range in front of him, a hint of fear suddenly appeared in his heart. But soon, Si Kong Yu suppressed this fear. 
this time entering, he will definitely face a close call to death. He cannot be timid before entering. Subsequently, everyone's faces showed a resolute expression. Let's go. Yes, master. Afterwards, this group of people encountered various dangers, such as being bitten by a sudden venomous snake, chased by a large group of low level mysterious beasts, and even encountering moving vines. There are countless similar dangers, and many of them have caused damage to the guards. Finally, they overcame numerous obstacles and arrived at the area close to the inner perimeter. Master, if we continue, we may not be able to leave this starry moon forest. The chief guard looked at Si Kong Yu with a tired expression beside him and said. Along the way, they escaped from death several times, and sisters also died a lot, but the holy medicine they were looking for was not even seen. And the deeper you go, the higher the level of the mysterious beast you encounter. They are no longer able to fight with these guards, and every time they meet, they run away desperately. At this moment, Si Kong Yu was also feeling uneasy. The deceased were all his guards. He was considering whether to just follow the advice of the chief guard and give up like this. However, I am also unwilling in my heart. Despite sacrificing so many people, I still have no gain at all. Be careful. Just as Si Kong Yu was stunned, the chief guard beside him suddenly pushed him. Then, from where he stood, a dirt gray snake had emerged. This is a sixth order mysterious beast, a gray snake. Its scales are impenetrable to knives and guns. We can't beat it, everyone retreat quickly as soon as the words of the chief guard fell, the gray snake attacked Sikomyu. Chapter 2 Sudden Falling by the Lotus Pond You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Master, quickly dodge. The chief guard looked at the gray snake attacking his master, and it was too late to come forward and stop it. After all, she pushed a bit too hard just now and pushed a bit too far. After hearing the frightened voice of the chief guard, Si Kong Yu quickly dodged. He also has a high talent for practicing martial arts in a quick reaction, so he can barely dodge attacks this time. However, I don't know what's going on with this gray snake. With so many people here, it's just catching Si Kong Yu to attack. Does the snake also understand the delicate pinching of persimmons and know that he is the weakest among these people? Chasing all the way, everyone fled all the way, and they had already lost their direction. Running and running, everyone turned around and saw that the gray snake behind them had disappeared. Hoo 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 hoo. The heavy panting suddenly came from the side, and everyone was startled. Looking back. Oh my goodness. Eighth level mysterious beast, violent black bear. Suddenly, a huge black bear appeared in the forest, covered in black except for the whites of its eyes. At this moment, the black bear was chattering, looking down at their group. Ching Zhu, take them with you first. Master, what are you doing? I still have two advanced scrolls here. One sleepy scroll can temporarily limit the breathing time of this black bear by more than ten times. A single-player random teleportation scroll, where it can teleport depends on my luck, master, let me do it. No, you can't leave first. If I were there, you wouldn't be able to run far for more than ten breaths. If you don't take me with you, with your strength, there is a good chance of escaping, master. Ching Zhu, this is the command. The chief guard Ching Zhu could only nod with tears in his eyes, and then everyone focused on the violent black bear not far away. Just as the black bear raised its fist and threw it at the crowd. Right now. As the words fell, Si Kong Yu instantly took out the trapped scroll he was carrying and tore it open. A golden light flashed by, and the violent black bear was shrouded in it, temporarily frozen in place. The other guards immediately followed the chief guard away from this place, and Si Kong Yu followed closely and tore open the random teleportation scroll. Silver light flashed, and Si Kong Yu disappeared in front of the violent black bear. Roar dot. As soon as he left, the violent black bear broke free from the lampshade that trapped it. 
A roar rang out and he smashed fiercely towards the place where Sikonyu had just stood. Suddenly, the gravel flew out and a big hole was smashed out of that place. Then, sniffing the smell in the air and chasing after others, we couldn't smell the smell of those humans anymore. Roar, another chaotic hammering, it knocked down many of the big trees around it. After venting, the violent black bear could only lower its head and walk towards its territory in frustration. On Sikong Yu's side, after tearing off the random teleportation scroll, he was transported to a high altitude near a lotus pond. With a loud bang, it fell from the air. Cough, cough, cough. A few coughs sounded, my face turned white, and there was blood flowing from the corners of my mouth. Cough, cough, cough. Perceived my physical condition and found that it was a bit bad. This is a visceral injury, and it's quite serious. Then with a loud pop, a mouthful of blood spurted out, and he finally couldn't hold on and fainted. I don't know how long it took, but a cold wind blew and Sikong Yu woke up. I opened my eyes in confusion and looked at the sky above me. Mmm, where is this? The surroundings were silent, with only his own murmurs echoing. After a moment, his mind cleared up. Slowly sit up. He remembers falling from a high altitude and getting seriously injured, but now it seems like he's okay. Stand up, move your arms, and shake your legs. He's really okay. What's going on? Why did I suddenly get better? The question in Sikong Yu's heart is currently unanswered by no one. Later, he looked around and saw a lotus pond not far away. I don't know how long I lay down, but at this moment, Sikong Yu felt like drinking water when he saw it. Take out the water bag you are carrying and find that there is no water left in the bag. Upon closer inspection, there is a hole torn in the water bag. Alas, it must have been when I fell that I broke it. Anyway, there's a lotus pond not far away. Go and see if the water inside can be drunk so, Sikong Yu stood up and came to the edge of the lotus pond. Just as soon as he came over, he was shocked to the spot. From a distance, Lianchi may not look impressive, but as one approaches, one can discover that among these lotus leaves, there are actually small lotus pods hidden. There is only one lotus seed in each lotus pod, and these lotus seeds are faintly emitting colorful light. Upon closer inspection of these lotus leaves, it is discovered that they are not actually ordinary lotus leaves. These lotus stems are filled with tiny light of different colors flowing faintly. Sikong Yu looked at the lotus pond in front of him, his eyes wide open. Is this a colorful lotus seed inside? Surprisingly, so many. Chapter 3 Entering the Treasure Land You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Seeing Sikong Yu dumbfounded, he was momentarily stunned in place. Along with it came a surprise. Unexpectedly, he actually found the rainbow lotus seed. Now his father is saved. Woo woo, woo woo. After removing the stone pressing down on his heart, he suddenly burst into tears. Since his father was poisoned, he has been feeling anxious and fearful every day. He had seen how miserable the lives of princes and daughters in the palace were without their father's support, and palace people with a little status could easily step up and step on them. There are too many royal children, and if you cannot stand out from them and lose your father, you will eventually have to be married by the royal family. After his father's death, the new imperial husband will definitely treat him and his brothers and sisters badly. He will not only control the marriages of their legitimate sons and daughters, but also suppress them. Now that he has found so many colorful lotus seeds, as long as he can bring them back, his father will be saved. After crying for a while and letting go of all the worries and grievances hidden in my heart, Sikong Yu lifted his head and gazed brightly at the colorful lotus seeds in the lotus pond. Zhang Ling lay on a huge beautiful woman's bed carved from white warm jade, with her long silver white dragon tail soaked in the nearby star moon spring. She was holding a ninth order spiritual fruit in her hand and eating it without a bite. Looking into the water mirror in front of me, the person with suddenly shining eyes chuckled lightly. It's really cute. 
what is in one's heart can be easily guessed at a glance. Zhang Ling was originally born in a small base in the end of the world, with innate abilities in thunder and space, and extremely talented. At the age of five, the small base was besieged by zombies. On the way to escape, her parents self-destructed crystal nuclei and died with the zombies to save her. Before they both died, let her live well and strive to live. And she lived up to the expectations of both of them, eventually persevering to the rescue team at the northern base. After the northern base learned about her situation, they placed her in the military and tried their best to cultivate her. When Zhang Ling was 13 years old, she began to work with the army on tasks. And this work lasted for 30 years without stopping. Over the past 30 years, she has killed countless zombies, mutated animals, and plants. I am either doing tasks every day, or on the way to completing them. Her comrades around her advised her to rest, but she smiled and shook her head. Because she has a wish, which is to kill all the zombies as soon as possible and seek revenge for her parents. As for why a five-year-old child still remembers the cause of her parents' death, it is because she is naturally mentally stronger than the average person, and has started to remember things since the age of two. Of course, in the end, she worked hard for thirty years, not only elevating her abilities to the pinnacle of humanity, but also ushering in the final battle against zombies. In this battle, she smiled and died with the zombie king, and humanity also welcomed the ultimate victory, entering a new era. Afterwards, living people erected statues of her to commemorate her contributions to humanity, becoming the belief of the entire human race. She was supposed to enter reincarnation with the merit of saving the world after her death in battle, but she is too tired in this life and doesn't want an afterlife. So, the soul attaches itself to the statue and remains in the world. But this makes the heavenly Tao headache. Because there is a strong power of faith gathered on Zhang Ling's statue, these powers were unintentionally absorbed by Zhang Ling. Seeing that the son of one's own fortune from the previous era is about to become a god, the heavenly way is really urgent. The development path set by this world is technology, not theology. God should not stay here. And with a strong sense of merit, faith, and unwillingness to reincarnate, the heavenly way cannot forcibly annihilate her. So, in the end, it could only use its own spatial laws to connect an ectopic universe. Then, he threw Zhang Ling over. Zhang Ling was originally sleeping well in her statue, but when she woke up, she came into a purple mist. This purple mist knows no boundaries, and Zhang Ling has been walking for a long time without leaving. In the end, she gave up, love whatever it is. Keep sleeping upside down. What she didn't know was that after she fell asleep, the power of merit, the power of faith, and the purple mist merged with each other, and then all entered her soul. When I woke up again, I saw the red mist beginning to dissipate and the surroundings pitch black. Zhang Ling is a bit anxious because being in the dark is the least secure. So, she is trying to find a way to keep these purple mist behind. Just as a soul, she has nothing on her body and doesn't know how to keep this thing. Chapter 4 Origin You are listening at NovelFull.audio Perhaps her desire to leave a purple mist was too strong. The strength around her moved with it, gathering some of the slowly dissipating purple mist and then transforming into a bead the size of an adult fist that entered her brain. When the purple mist completely dissipated, the surroundings were pitch black, and even the determined Zhang Ling felt uncomfortable staying in this environment for a long time. I have no choice but to continue sleeping. I don't know anything when I fall asleep. Afterwards, Zhang Ling didn't know how long she slept. When I woke up again, a nine-story pagoda with white light appeared beside me. Zhang Ling reached out and touched it, and the nine-story tower flew into her body. At this moment, she learned the name of the tower. Chaos Tower. The ultimate chaos treasure. The reason for coming to her side is also very simple, it is attracted by the breath on Zhang Ling's body, and at this time, I have already recognized Zhang Ling as the main one. Or force the divine soul to recognize the master. 
this tower defends against the heavens, layer by layer creating a world. But now it's empty inside, nothing. Since Shan Ling knows there is something else in this space, she must be looking for it. Afterwards, for countless years, Zhang Ling wandered around collecting things. During this period, she also saw various newly born creatures with a common name. Chaos Demon God As more and more chaotic demons emerge, this space known as chaos is becoming increasingly chaotic. Zhang Ling saw them always silently running away, after all, she was just a spiritual body, and those demon gods all had entities. One day, when Zhang Ling collected another fruit tree and entered the Chaos Tower, the entire space suddenly became violently turbulent. Zhang Ling was suddenly knocked unconscious by the shock. Chaos Tower quickly came out to protect its master, and then was thrown into the sudden spatial vortex. After Zhang Ling woke up this time, she found herself inside an egg. She finally has a physical presence. When she couldn't figure out the situation, the Heavenly Tao sent out a message. Originally, the Heavenly Tao of this world had always wanted to upgrade, and when Zhang Ling passed by with a purple aura all over her body, he directly pulled her into this world. And her spiritual body was stuffed into a dying mutated dragon egg by the Heavenly Tao. Zhang Ling obtained a physical entity. At the same time, as an exchange, it collected some purple qi from Zhang Ling for promotion. After Zhang Ling broke her shell, she found herself on an island in a large lake. This island is piled up with gold, silver, and jewelry, and is also covered with various natural treasures. Afterwards, she learned from the Heavenly Tao that this was already Dragon Valley. Due to the increasing scarcity of spiritual energy in this realm, the dragon clan moved to other planes. And the dragon egg she possessed, because it was mutated, had a weak life aura and could not withstand the energy damage caused by space teleportation. So, in the end, it was left behind. There is a barrier outside the dragon valley, and the forest outside the barrier is the territory of the dragon clan. But before she reaches adulthood, she can't even get out of the barrier. She thought she would reach adulthood quickly, so she patiently waited on Dragon Island, but after waiting for thousands of years, she was not yet of age. However, for Zhang Ling, who has slept for countless years, this is not a problem. At least now she has a physical presence and doesn't have to work all day. This retirement-like life is simply perfect for her. From then on, Zhang Ling calmly laid waste within this natural barrier. Until today, there was a sudden spatial fluctuation in the sky outside the barrier, and then a person fell, a boy who looked only ten years old. The person fell to the ground and passed out in no time. The high dot level mysterious beasts stationed around the lotus pond all year round were supposed to eat people when they saw outsiders breaking into this place. Zhang Ling sensed this situation within the barrier and quickly instructed them not to touch this human. He also had an imperial beast feed him a lotus seed from the center of the lotus pond. So, after waking up from a coma, Sikong Yu's injuries all healed. At this moment, Zhang Ling looked at Sikong Yu's bright eyes in the water mirror and felt that she had become much younger. This is also the first human she came to this world and saw. Therefore, she gave an order to the mysterious beasts outside. Allow him to pick a lotus seed. The mysterious beasts who received orders remained motionless and quietly hid around. Chapter 5 Dragon Scale Jade Pendant You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Sikong Yu was completely unaware of the changes around him. He picked up a palm sized stone and threw it into the pool. After a while, he saw no movement in the pool. So he came to the pool, bent down to pick up the water, and drank it happily. After finishing the drink, I looked up and saw my reflection in the water. Um. Um, why am I so dirty? Yes, he saw a person in the water with messy hair and a dirty face. When he didn't see it, he didn't feel it. Now that he saw his current appearance, it reminded him that he hadn't taken a shower for a long time. Turning around, I found it very quiet here and didn't see any mysterious beasts appearing. 
so, Sikon Yu took off his coat and went into the lotus pond to clean it. The mysterious beasts watching around. How can they drink the holy water in the pool later? They are fortunate that the water in this lotus pond is live water, and the place where Sikon Yu stands for cleaning is also a drainage outlet. The water in the lotus pond falls from a small waterfall. Above this small waterfall, there is Xingyue Lake connecting the valley where Zhongling is located. The origin of the Starry Moon Forest is due to this Starry Moon Lake. Ten thousand years ago, due to the arrival of Zhongling, the world underwent a great transformation. A new formation called Star Moon Formation has also appeared here in Longu. It can absorb the power of starlight and moonlight, so in addition to spiritual energy, these two powers are also abundant in Dragon Valley. Over time, these forces also integrated into the water in the lake. In addition, Zhongling always likes to soak her tail in the lake, to the extent that the lake water is mixed with a faint dragon aura. In the end, after the water flows out here, it becomes the holy water that the mysterious beasts outside want. Drinking this water can accelerate the cultivation of mysterious beasts in the forest. And this place has also become the holy land of the entire starry moon forest. The lotus flowers in the lotus pond also mutated due to the water. At this moment, the beasts looked at the sudden intrusion of the human and how they had wasted their holy water. They couldn't help but feel angry. If it weren't for the orders of the Lord of Stars and Moon, they would have gone to tear up this human cub in the morning. John Ling never expected that this person would be so bold. Is that all you have to do, take a shower here? You really have a big heart. Thinking of this, John Ling suddenly wanted to see what kind of person he would look like in the future. So, he casually removed a dragon scale from his tail and pulled two silver white hair. Two things were placed on the hand, and a beam of light flashed through. A white warm jade with a rope appeared on the hand. Later, she threw the jade pendant to the place where Sikong Yu took a shower. Well, anyway, being idle is also being idle. Why don't we follow you to see what this world's human world looks like? Outside the boundary. As Sikong Yu was washing, he saw a circular white jade pendant in the clear pond. Bend down and pick it up. Ha! Huh. How could there be a warm jade here? He carefully rubbed it back and forth, as if he had been stabbed by something. There was blood flowing from his fingertips, which was absorbed by the warm jade. I saw this round warm jade, after absorbing his blood, emitting a dazzling light. After he opened his eyes again, the jade pendant was already hanging around his neck. Is this? Feeling a bit flustered in my heart, I hastily took a shower, then got up and climbed onto the shore, wanting to take off the jade pendant. Unfortunately, it's useless. No matter how he tries, this jade pendant just can't be taken off. Hey, forget it, if you can't take it off, then you can't take it off. Anyway, it doesn't seem to hurt me much at the moment. After comforting himself for a while, he washed the clothes he had taken off on the side, picked up dead branches, lit a fire, and set up a shelf to bake the clothes on the side. He himself jumped back into the pond, ready to pick lotus seeds. When he picked one and wanted to pick the second one, a figure suddenly appeared on the shore. Don't be too greedy in life. Oh. Sikong Yu was startled by the sudden sound behind him. Turning around, there stood a huge leopard-like mysterious beast on the shore. This mysterious beast is pitch black except for white cloud patterns on its limbs and forehead. Sikong Yu looked at it and swallowed. Shaking his body in fear, he asked, just. Just now, were you talking? It's me. You can only pick one lotus seed. If you pick more, the people in the pond won't be happy, in the pond. Sikong Yu lowered his head and saw a pair of huge eyes suddenly appearing inside the pond. Ah dot. Swim frantically towards the shore. Chapter 6 Leaving You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. After he landed, he found the big black panther walking over. You, don't come over. 
He didn't know what level of mysterious beast the Black Panther was, but since he could speak, he thought its level was definitely not low. After listening to Sikong Yu's words, Black Panther stopped. If you take something, hurry up and leave. After speaking, a flash disappeared without a trace. After hearing this, Sikong Yu stumbled and ran to the fire to put on his half-dried clothes, then packed the colorful lotus seeds and quickly left. After he left, many mysterious beasts of different shapes slowly emerged around him. What should we do? He dirted the water in the lotus pond sigh. Wait. Wait for the water flowing down from the waterfall, replace the inside, and then we can drink roaming and rumbling. Just as the beasts were communicating, the water flowing down the waterfall suddenly grew larger. Is this, the master changing the water for us? It should be. Boom 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The mysterious beasts surrounding the lotus pond knelt down one after another. They knew from birth that the starry moon forest had a master, and their master lived on the waterfall. Zhang Lingyin's long white dragon tail swayed on the lake surface, and suddenly two huge red light clusters gathered on her back. After the light dissipated, a pair of fiery red wings appeared on the back. Roots of feathers, sparkling with red light, dazzling and dazzling. Roar. The roar of dragons and the roar of phoenixes suddenly echoed through the entire starry and lunar forest. In an instant, the entire forest fell silent. Humans still wandering in the forest may not understand what this sound means. However, the mysterious beasts in the entire starry moon forest know. The meaning of that voice is. Make way. This is also the first command issued by the Lord of Stars and Moon to the mysterious beasts in the entire forest. The humans wandering inside discovered that since this sound, the mysterious beasts in the entire forest have calmed down a lot. After Zhang Ling issued this command, she spread her wings and flew to the surface of the lake. Subsequently, his body shook and his upper body transformed into a beast-like form. Horn like a deer, head like a camel, eyes like a rabbit, neck like a snake, abdomen like a mirage, scales like a fish, claws like an eagle, palms like a tiger, ears like a cow, whiskers near the mouth, pearls under the jaw, and scales against the throat. A perfect dragon-like appearance. However, this divine dragon also has a pair of fiery red wings on its back, and the feathers on both wings seem to have a little red magma flowing. Zhang Ling learned from her inherited memory that her mother was a silver dragon and her father was a phoenix. She is the offspring of dragons and phoenixes. And it also perfectly inherits the bloodline inheritance of the two ethnic groups, belonging to an existence that goes against heaven. So, it was only then that this egg had a weak breath and almost lost its vitality. If it weren't for Zhang Ling's arrival, this egg heaven Dao would have turned it into a dead egg. With his wings retracted, Zhang Ling entered the lake directly. The dragon enters the water. Well, take a shower, play. As she increased her movements, the water in the lake accelerated its outflow. On the other hand, since leaving the lotus pond, Sikong Yu has noticed that the surrounding mysterious beasts are chasing him. It's like herding sheep, driving him in one direction. Hoo hoo. You guys, stop chasing me, I can't run anymore. Sikong Yu leaned against a tree and looked at the mysterious beasts not far away who were eyeing him but had no intention of killing him. He has been running all day and hasn't even taken a sip of water. I really can't run anymore. GG. Slag. Roar. I can't understand what you're saying. Roar, roar. How about helping him? Xi Xi Xi. Then, you go. Several mysterious beasts began to discuss in front of him. Finally, 
a gray gorilla stood up. Run two steps quickly and come straight to Sikong Yu's face. Bending down, opening his mouth, biting into his clothes, picking up the person and starting to run outward. Ah! Help me dot. The surrounding scenery quickly receded, causing Sikong Yu to scream in shock. But his screams quickly disappeared, as the wind poured into his mouth, forcing him to close it. Being held in the mouth by the gorilla, with each flick, Sikong Yu was quickly knocked unconscious by it. When I woke up again, I saw my guards. Master, have you finally woken up? What's wrong with me? On that day, after getting rid of that mysterious beast, we have been looking for you. It wasn't until half a day ago that we found you unconscious here, when you found me, wasn't there any other mysterious beast beside me? No. We have looked around and there are no traces of the mysterious beasts, um. Did you have a dream? However, when he touched his neck and found the white round warm jade, he knew it was not a dream. Touching the colorful lotus seeds hidden by him further confirms that he did indeed have a strange experience. Chapter 7 Throwing Embroidery Balls You are listening at NovelFull.audio It has been ten years since Sikong Yu sneaked into the starry moon forest. The warm jade he obtained at the beginning has always been carried by him. In fact, he can't even pick this warm jade. The colorful lotus seed he brought back successfully rescued his father. However, he never mentioned the existence of Lianqi to anyone. Even so, outsiders are aware of the existence of colorful lotus seeds in the starry moon forest. This has led to an increasing number of people searching for treasures in the starry moon forest. At this moment, Sikong Yu was standing on the walls of the imperial city wearing a red robe, holding a red embroidered ball in his hand, preparing to throw it to invite a bride. Under the city wall, there are crowded unmarried girls of different talents and appearances. They all shouted loudly at the figure in red standing on the city wall, Third Prince, throw it down quickly. Third Prince, throw it to me, throw it to me. All such sounds reached the ears of Sikong Yu. Next to Sikong Yu, who was dressed in red, stood a princess. That is his compatriot sister. Second Princess, Sikong Xuanli. Ayu, do you really want to do this? Only by doing so can I prevent some people from calculating my marriage again. This. Sikong Xuanli was momentarily stuttering. It is true that only by getting married as soon as possible can we not let the noble faction in the palace, who are at odds with their father and queen, have an opportunity to take advantage of it. Previously, Ayu had a handsome and talented childhood sweetheart. That is a very excellent lady from a noble family. However, in the end, he was snatched away by the son of the noble prince, the fourth prince, Sikong Ning, through means. Afterwards, this noble gentleman's faction has always had the idea of a Yu's marriage. I spend all day blowing pillow wind around their mother emperor, hoping that Ayu will marry his younger generation from his mother's family. Father's empress sympathized with Ayu and refused his mother's proposal, which made her even more indifferent to him. However, Ayu is exceptionally talented in practicing martial arts, but her appearance is not outstanding. It's really not the type that girls like. Women in this world are beautiful for their tall and handsome appearance, while men need to be gentle and virtuous. Looking at her face alone, Ayu looks decent, but when it comes to her physique and personality, it's not what women like. Which woman can fall in love with a man who is as strong as herself? They all like men who are petite, weak, gentle, and virtuous in temperament. Ayu and the current people have completely opposite aesthetics. Even his compatriots and sisters cannot say without conscience that Ayu is a good candidate for the position of upright ruler. As for those people below, they probably came here for profit. After all, he is a prince. Marrying him will bring significant benefits to these small families in enhancing their family status. If you really don't like Xing Jun after getting married, then it's a good choice to have some servants in your own yard. Si Kong Yu actually understands these things in his heart, but he has no other choice now. Fortunately, after getting married, 
he will have his own prince's mansion and no longer have to live in the palace. Of course, it can also help his imperial sister. His eldest brother. Sikong Chen. I have already married out and married well, so I don't have to worry about him as a younger brother. As for his own happiness, he has completely lost hope for it. Thinking of this, he threw the embroidered ball in his hand vigorously towards the city building. After the red embroidered ball fell, it was instantly submerged in the crowd. Ah, mine, I got it. No, it's mine, that's right. A girl only touched the embroidered ball and was snatched by another. The crowd was pushing and shoving, with embroidered balls floating and sinking above their heads. On the other side of the city wall, there were also many people standing, all of whom were princes and princesses watching Sikong use jokes. Looking at the hydrangeas being looted under the city wall, someone joked, I didn't expect him to be quite popular. Oh, if I let you go, would you go? Let's forget it then. I don't like these people. No matter what these people think in their hearts, the embroidered ball thrown by Sikong Yu has never been snatched by anyone. This embroidered ball seems to have its own thoughts, paws on one head and paws on the other. I don't know who made a big effort, but the embroidered ball was shot far away. Then, as if it had 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 enough fun, it finally stopped in the arms of a slender and frail girl with picturesque features. Steady and motionless. The crowd fell silent for an instant, and the girl's male appearance appeared weak and unable to take care of herself. And the clothes are simple, and the family background should not be very good either. This she caught this embroidered ball, is it still counted? Chapter 8 Getting Married You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Whether it counts or not, everyone immediately knows. I saw a team of guards coming out of the palace and quickly walking towards the girl who had just received the embroidered ball. As these people approached, the head guard looked at the calm-looking person in front of him and asked in a voice, Has the girl already married? It is also because Zhang Ling did not stand within the designated range for receiving the embroidered ball, that the chief guard asked this question. Never. That girl, since you can even receive the embroidered ball from the current third prince standing here, it indicates that this is fate. Please follow me into the palace, change into formal attire, and marry the third prince. As for your family, we can also go and pick them up immediately Zhang Ling looked at the red embroidered ball in her hand and smiled, saying, in my early years, my parents had already passed away. It's not impossible for me to enter the palace and pay respects, but I hope to meet with the third prince and ask a few questions before that the chief guard hesitated after hearing Zhang Ling's words. Um. What do you want to ask? I asked them to report to His Majesty and the Third Prince. I don't know, would the girl be willing to? It's also okay. My surname is Zhang, and my single name is Ling. My home is on the edge of Star Moon City, and I originally had some financial resources. However, because I was born with a mental illness, I have been seeking medical advice for years. Nowadays, there are only a few houses and mountains left at home that cannot be taken away. Coming to the Imperial City, I have also heard that there are many famous doctors here. If the third prince doesn't mind my weak health and there is no silver in my family. I am also willing to get married the chief guard looked at Zhang Ling, his eyes becoming indescribable. Is this, weak and poor? In his heart, there was a wave of disdain. Although the chief guard thought so, he didn't show any signs on his face. Well, Miss Zhang, please wait a moment, I'll have someone report to you right away. Thank you very much, sir. And those who were watching the excitement around were speechless after hearing Zhang Ling's words. If the third prince agrees to marry someone with such conditions. I'm afraid it's not a cripple. However, the fact quickly hit their faces. This third prince, he really has a limp in his eyes. The guards who reported to the palace soon ran out. Miss Zhang, your majesty disagrees, but the third prince doesn't mind. Finally, his majesty agreed with the persuasion of the third prince. Miss, please follow us into the palace now. 
After hearing this, Zhang Ling smiled and walked into the palace with these guards. There was a moment of silence as the people around watched their departing figures. Subsequently, there was even greater discussion. Is the third prince really getting married today? Yes, yes. It's better to marry such a frail and unattractive woman. Speaking of which, although these three princes don't look very good. But after all, he is a prince with outstanding talent. If this girl marries him, isn't that a step up to heaven? Who said no? She's afraid she won't have to worry about the money for treating her illness anymore yes, yes. This girl is really lucky, she can catch an embroidered ball from so far away. Perhaps this is truly a destined marriage. Now, everyone, think again. The current third prince doesn't seem to be that bad either. No matter how people in the imperial city discuss, it will not affect the two people who are worshipping. The third prince, dressed in a bright red wedding dress and covered in a red headscarf, stood in the center of the main hall of the imperial palace. At this moment, no one could see the expression under his hood. After being brought into the palace by the guards, Zhang Ling was taken to a side hall where the palace attendants quickly washed, changed clothes, and changed her attire. Why are there people changing clothes? All they prepared were clothes in the shape of ordinary women. Miss Zhang, who received the embroidered ball, looks a bit too thin and weak. This Shifu is completely out of touch. In order not to lose the face of the royal family, they had to change her clothes. Fortunately, these people have very agile hands and a large number of people. By the time Zhang Ling finished cleaning, they had already reached the end of their editing process. After bringing her the wedding dress and putting it on, comb her hair and wear a golden jade crown. Everyone in the room took a deep breath. This is really beautiful. Her eyebrows and eyes were picturesque, with a hint of laziness in her delicate state, and a hint of nobility in her every move and gesture. If it were a man, I don't know how many women in the world would be captivated. Unfortunately, she is a daughter. Such a woman is destined not to become a reliance for the men's family. Chapter 9 Chapel You are listening at NovelFull.audio Everything was ready, and the palace attendants led Zhang Ling to the conference hall. The crowd in the hall took a deep breath and froze in place as they watched the people walking in their wedding attire outside the door. Looking from afar, bright as the sun rising in the morning glow, observing it with force, it burns like a lotus, emitting green waves. But when I think about this gender, everyone in the hall is numb. If this is a man, then. Unfortunately, it's really a pity for this stunning appearance. Every move is just a painting, it's just not worth it. I'm really worried that the third prince will become a widowed husband one day, just like how weak Lu Fufeng looks. Under the cover, Sikong Yu could only hear a sound of inhalation from the surroundings, and then there was no sound. For a moment, he didn't know what exactly happened. As soon as I reached out, I wanted to lift the lid off. Hey, hey, third prince, the cover may not be exposed here. The palace attendant beside him noticed and quickly stopped his next move. What happened outside? It's okay, it's okay. After seeing the appearance of Xi and Shangqing, all the adults were too surprised and haven't regained their senses for a while, cough. As the palace attendant finished speaking, the empress sitting in a high position coughed. Everyone immediately regained their senses, and then, observing the nose, 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 and heart, their eyes would not be under their control, always looking towards Xi and Shangqing who was moving forward. Are you Zhang Ling? Zhang Ling bowed upwards. It's a common woman. You can stand out among the women, which shows that it is fate. Since that's the case, I don't want to go against the sky. Minister of Rights, let's start the worship ceremony now. I will comply with the order. The Minister of Rights, standing among the courtiers, hurriedly stepped forward. Subsequently, he said to the two new humanists, Congratulations, today is a good day and good fortune, wise, the newlyweds will always marry. One bow to heaven and earth. 
Under the guidance of the palace attendant, Zhang Ling and Si Kong Yu turned around and bowed to the door. Or by Gao Tang. Later, they turned around and knelt down towards the empress and empress sitting on the high platform. Wife and husband pay homage. As the words fell, Zhang Ling and Si Kong Yu bowed in opposition. Toast and bid farewell. Two ceremonial officials came over with a tray, each containing two glasses of wine. The first cup, to pay tribute to the grace of the empress's upbringing. Respectfully Zhang Ling and Si Kong Yu picked up the wine on the tray and bowed in front of them. Afterwards, drink it all up. The empress also picked up the wine in front of her and drank it. After you two, you need your wife and husband to work together. Speaking of which, I looked at Zhang Ling again. Just live a good life. As for letting this new son dot in dot law take on the big responsibility, let's forget it. Give her a vacant official position in the future and keep it. I will strictly follow my mother's teachings. My son dot in dot law strictly follows my mother dot in dot law's teachings. Afterwards, the two picked up the remaining glass of wine. The second cup of wine, to pay tribute to the kindness of your offspring in nurturing and nurturing. Respectfully the two raised their glasses and toasted, bowing forward once again. Then, finish drinking the wine from the glass. Cough cough. Zhang Ling drank too quickly and coughed incessantly for a moment. After finishing their toast, Ho Jun heard it and quickly said, Hurry up, pour a glass of warm water for Shang Qin. Cough cough cough, father dot in dot law, cough, don't worry. That's right. I just drank a little too quickly, it's not a big deal everyone heard her cough and felt a little sad for a moment. This body seems to be unable to drink alcohol. After the palace attendant poured a cup of warm water to drink, Zhan Ling finally calmed down her breath. It's really not about her health, but the wine here is too bad to drink. So, she thought that the long pain was better than the short pain, and drank it in one gulp. The princes and daughters around who were at odds with Si Kong Yu all had smiles of schadenfreude in their eyes. However, due to the occasion, they had to suppress their laughter. This makes their faces look a bit distorted at this moment. The empress and empress above breathed a slight sigh of relief when they saw that Zhang Ling was indeed not in a big deal. At this moment, Ho Jun no longer delayed and quickly sent his blessings. May you two forever unite and grow old together. Thank you, father. Thank you, father. In law. At this moment, the empress looked at Si Kong Yu with a cover and waved her hand reluctantly. Go ahead. My son bid farewell to his mother and father. My son. In dot law bid farewell to his mother. In dot law and father. In dot law. Then, the two of them walked out of the hall together holding on to red silk. Under the high platform outside the palace, the wedding carriage had already been parked, along with numerous neatly arranged dowries. Their new house is located outside the palace in the third prince's mansion, which will be their new home in the future. The third prince's mansion was built in a location chosen by Si Kong Yu himself. The place he chose is slightly far from the palace, but it has a large area and the interior is decorated very luxurious. After all, Si Kong Yu is the legitimate son of the empress and has a good talent for martial arts. The royal family still needs to give him this honor. Wait until Zhang Ling delivers the person to the new house before coming out to entertain the guests. Chapter 10 Toast You are listening at NovelFull.audio the guests who came were either wealthy or noble, and the empress and empress knew that Xi and Shangqing did not know these people. When everyone left the palace, he instructed Sikong Xuanli and Sikong Chen to provide more support after arriving at the third prince's mansion. At this moment, Zhang Ling came out to offer a toast. Sikong Chen instructed the maid who followed Zhang Ling to exchange all her wine for tea. Zhang Ling, it's not necessary. I really just feel that this wine is a bit unpleasant and I'm a little anxious about it. It's not that she's in poor health. The good wine she drank on Dragon Island is quite unknown. 
However, looking at the elder brother Sikong Chen and the second elder sister Sikong Xuanli standing beside her, she chose to comply with their wishes. Drinking tea is always better than drinking inferior wine. However, not long after, she regretted it. This tea is not intoxicating, but it swells my stomach after drinking too much. Looking around at the guests who occasionally secretly follow her, Zhang Ling doesn't always run to change clothes. So, she quietly drained the water she had drunk onto the ground with her breath. After Zhang Ling followed Sikong Xuanli and Sikong Chen to recognize the elders, they came to the circle of the prince and daughter. Today, with abundant offspring, the princes and daughters alone occupy a lot of tables. The fourth prince Sikong Ning saw Zhang Ling and others walking over and smiled at the person beside him, saying, Ah Rong, take a look. Third brother Shangqing has arrived. It looks much worse than you. Han Anrong looked at Sikong Ning with a spoiled expression on his face. Anning, don't talk nonsense. She's not bad either. The conversation between the two did not converge at all. Everyone present, including the three people who just walked over, could hear clearly. Zhang Ling raised her eyebrows and stood weakly in front of everyone. Side by side, looking at Sikong Chen in confusion. Big brother, are these two? Fourth Prince Sikong Ning, next to him is his Shangqing Han Anrong. Oh. So it's fourth brother and fourth sister. I heard that the fourth younger brother and sister are both skilled in literature and martial arts. It has been three months since you got married, and I wonder if your mother. In law has already given you a title upon hearing these words, Han Anrong's smile almost couldn't be sustained. Shang Qing, who was originally married to the prince, will be granted a title when the prince returns from his third court. This represents the royal family's recognition of this Shang Qing. And because she was deliberately designed at a banquet, she had a skin-to-skin -skin relationship with the fourth prince. So, only then will she step down from the third prince's marriage and marry the fourth prince as the legitimate ruler. The empress later found out that the incident was their own design, so when the fourth prince returned home in three dynasties, she was not given a title. It is said that we will talk about it after the third prince gets married. That's also why your esteemed ruler began to focus on his superior Kong Yu's marriage. For so long, no one dared to bring up this matter. But I didn't want this fragile new Shangqing to ask in front of everyone today. Han Anrong's eyes instantly cooled down, but when he thought of today's occasion, he swallowed his breath again. The mother emperor has his own arrangements for this matter, so Zhang Shangqing won't have to worry about it. Zhang Ling looked at her with a smile on her face. If I remember correctly, you should call me San Sao. I first arrived in the imperial city and recently heard some rumors in the market. So I thought it would be better to ask clearly when I see my true self, so as not to make me believe that the people around who had good relations with the fourth prince's mansion heard this and looked at the fourth prince and Han Anrong one after another. People who do not deal with them, or who are neutral, are also gloating and raising their ears. The fourth prince looked at his wife's gloomy gaze and suddenly lifted the wine coquettish smile in front of him. Almost made Zhang Ling laugh out of stomach discomfort. My younger brother is here, thank you to San Sa for her concern towards us. My mother also loves me, and if she doesn't crown our wrong, she still wants to test our wrong sincerity towards me. Come, sister. In law, let me toast you and wish you good fortune, longevity, and health, as well as a long and long dot lasting relationship with your third brother Zhang Lingxiao looked at the fourth prince and picked up tea to pay his respects across the air. Thank you very much for your brother's blessings. We will definitely be together for a long time. Then, another cup of tea was poured. Here, I salute everyone and thank you for coming today to drink my and Ayu's wedding wine. Ha ha ha, San Sa is polite. Yeah, yeah. They're all part of the same family, congratulations to San Sa and San Gu on their marriage. No matter what thoughts the princes and daughters present have, they have temporarily restrained themselves today. Didn't you see the fourth prince's sister, did the third prince's daughter remain silent? 
set the sorting of princes and daughters separately. From the performance of this third sister in law slash sister in law just now, it seems that she has a very good brain and is not a weak person. Thinking about the fact that the two factions of Ho-Jun and Goe-Jun have always been at odds, I'm afraid there may be some good things to watch in the future.